Hello, greetings from Vino. We are glad to share one of our innovative technology vShare on our cutting edge vLucid RF platform in our premium ultrasound series. vShare is a 2D shear wave elastography imaging that non-invasively assess the stiffness or elasticity of the tissue to detect, diagnose and grade for clinical management. 2D shear wave elastography imaging is one of the non-invasive imaging methods to detect and stage elasticity that has evolved over the past decades. There are multiple clinical applications for V-shear like breast, liver, thyroid, musculoskeletal to name a few and it's expanding. We would like to share one such application in liver for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. NAFLD is considered a silent epidemic across the world with global prevalence of 24 to 30%. It is one of the reasons for chronic liver disease besides the viral hepatitis B, hepatitis C and rest of the other pathologies. Early detection helps the disease management and probable reverse or reduction in the rate of progress. Fibrosis staging is the primary predictor of liver related mortality in NAFLD. Biopsy is the reference standard, however has limitations such as pain, repeatability, sample size of few millimeter of tissue and intra-observer variability. Histologically, NAFLD starts with the first stage as NAFL or a simple accumulation of fat which progresses to NASH for non-alcoholic steatohepatitis as a fat accumulation with inflammation that might progress to fibrosis which might progress to hepatocellular carcinoma or a complete structural damage of liver as cirrhosis. Unlike the conventional strain elastography, which either requires a manual cyclic compression and release or cardiac pulse as a natural source of strain in liver, V shear transmit push pulses that are acoustic force to produce micro tissue movements in the direction of its propagation. These tissue movements in turn produce shear waves. The generated shear wave propagate perpendicular to the direction of the push pulses, typically between 1 to 10 meters per second. Therefore, using tracking ultrasound pulses, which are having an average tissue of propagation velocity of 15 40 meters per second to track and the propagating shear waves and estimate its velocity. The hard or the stiff tissues tend to propagate shear waves faster than the soft or elastic tissues. The resulting dispersion of shear wave velocity over a 2D area is displayed as a parametric color map on real time 2D image. The image on the right shows the shear wave velocity map and the image on the left shows the reliability map. Upon selecting the appropriate frame, placing a measurement cursor displays all three measurement values, namely the shear wave velocity in meter per second and elastic and shear modulus. Both the modulus depends on the density of the tissue, which is assumed to be 1000 kilogram per cubic meter and also on the applied force and isotropic deformation of the tissue. The clinical requirement is the fibrosis staging for chronic liver disease due to chronic viral hepatitis and in NAFLD the objective is to rule out NASH to determine presence or absence of advanced fibrosis. It is also used to follow up the previously diagnosed fibrosis, assessment of patients with known cirrhosis to assess clinically significant portal hypertension, evaluation of patients with unexplained portal hypertension and to assess response to the treatment like the persons who have got antiviral therapy for hepatitis V, hepatitis B virus shows histologic regression of fibrosis or cirrhotic patient having a regression histologically after five years of therapy. Regarding the patient preparation, patient has to fast at least four hours before the examination. Position the patient either on the supine, lie on their back or lateral decubitus that is 30 degree from that and not a true lateral. Let the patient rest for a few minutes and abduct the right arm that is move away from the chest and place above the head that widens the intercostal space for scanning. The patient is advised a neutral breathing and breath holding at the neutral breathing and do not do a breath hold using during a deep inspiration. So intercostal space scanning allows window to obtain the liver segment 7 or 8 so here on the left side, you see the uh, proposition for intercostal scan and on the right side, you see a 2D image of the intercostal scan plane 
showing a right lobe of liver segment 7 or 8. Once this uh, image is acquired on the touch screen, touch V shear that enables the V shear ROI function and optimize the V shear ROI function. Position the ROI about 1.5 to 2 centimeter below the liver capsule as shown with the red arrow and also enable the reliable map motion stability index for to be displayed and ensure the ROI is perpendicular to the liver capsule and then parallel to the liver capsule with the uh, upper plane of the uh, V shear ROI. This image shows a real time clip and observe the patient who is actually uh, holding the breath whether there are in any lateral movement of uh, liver and also the reliability map is showing a maximum reliability uh, in majority of the area and look for the motion indicator showing a green uh, to the maximum level. So on the appropriate frame now choose the uh, measurement tab on the touch screen touch the shear wave velocity uh, measurement it opens up a cursor position it over the maximum reliability area and the system will uh, display the measurement result. The system will show the shear wave velocity in meter per second and elastic modulus and ng modulus and the shear wave modulus in kilopascal and all the statistics of data like the maximum, minimum and uh, standard deviation, mean and depth at which the ROI was placed and diameter of the measurement ROI and the reliability index, everything is displayed. More importantly, uh, adapting to the international guidelines, it shows the median value and the IQR median ratio as per the SRU guidelines. The international guideline recommends to obtain 3 to 5 measurements and the IQR median ratio to be less than 15% for shear wave velocity in meter per second and less than 30% for elastic modulus in kilopascal. This shows the rule of 4 as per the SRU consensus on NAFLD. Uh, the measurement showing 1.3 meter per second is high probability of being normal. 1.7 in the absence of other known clinical sign rules out the compensated advanced uh, chronic liver disease. And if there is known clinic, uh, critical signs may need further test for confirmation. And 1.7 to 2.1 suggestive of a compensated advanced chronic liver disease but need further test for confirmation. If it is 2.1 then this rules in the compensated advanced chronic liver disease. If it is 2.4 and above, it's suggestive of clinically significant portal hypertension and that is the higher level. Let's see a uh, few images like this one is uh, on the left side, you see subject one showing the liver and it is also showing the uh, shear wave velocity of 1.76 meters per second and it also shows the elastic modulus and shear modulus uh, within the recommended IQR uh, median ratio and on the right side you see subject number two which is also 1.76 meter per second both come into the category where if there is no clinical signs or it needs further uh, clinical assessment for evaluation for compensated advanced chronic uh, liver disease and this is a known patient of uh, significant portal uh, hypertension and in this you can clearly see the liver elastography showing a mean value of 2.6 this is much higher than 2.41. So this significantly correlates to the uh, significant high portal hypertension. And on the right side, um, referring to the uh, publications, the spleen shear wave elastography also shows a very higher value of 4.92 meters per second, wherein the literature suggests a cutoff of more than 2.4 meter per second is suggestive of a clinically significant portal hypertension. So in summary to this, V-share is one of the non-invasive imaging markers evolved over the past decades. The many advantages like it's a helpful in long-term follow-up, screening large population, V-share being a 2D shear wave elastography imaging, a real-time technique, it helps to place the V-share ROI avoiding major vessels on a real-time image guidance and also um, it assesses the stiffness over a larger tissue area and it works on patients with ascites. So v shear operation is simple, reliable and reproducible by following the international protocols for patient preparation, imaging, segments and ROI placement, patient breathing and measurement on appropriate image 
observing the motion stability index and reliability map and index. Thank you very much for your time.